Well, when signed veteran outfielder first baseman, Trey Mancini to a minor league deal. So Mancini, a few seasons ago, he was very solid and he helped the Houston Astros win a World Series. Career, the numbers have started to go down over the last couple of years here for Mancini. So 2022 between the O's and the Houston Astros, like I mentioned, 18 home runs, 63 RBIs, 239 average and a 319 on base in 519 at bats. And then last season with the Cubs, I know he didn't play every day and they played a lot of the young guys with this Cub team, but only four home runs. 28 RBIs, a 234 average, and a 299 on base for him and 235 at bats. So we know this Miami Marlins offense always needs some bats in their lineup. Poor so we're most likely leaving in free agency for this Marlins team. And Trey Mancini's a guy I think could step in playing some first base at times versus lefties. Some DH or one of the corner outfield spots here is Trey Mancini. But in terms of fantasy baseball, I'm not really going to have high hopes. For Mancini after the last season and a half the numbers have dropped off and I know he had some monster years early in his career as Mancini entering his eighth season now already 32 years old and sometimes these players once they hit 32 33 they just break down and the stats go down but like I said he's gonna get an opportunity I believe even though it's a minor league deal to produce and get playing time with this Marlins team mostly versus lefties could translate to anything so Trey Mancini signs with the Marlins so we'll see if you can have a bounce back season and possibly fantasy value enter in the 2024 season.